Hey Jacob, this is Keaton Everett with ABC. Go over your pitching video from camp. We're going to go through and talk a little bit about your motion, your delivery, um, and sort of look at you know what what you're doing throughout your motion, um, and and sort of get a sense of, of how everything's working. Sort of ways we can make everything efficient, ways we can we can utilize our lower body, um, and just sort of get get everything going on the right track. So as we get older and get stronger, uh, we're going to be able to to get everything going. All right, so. Basically, off the bat, you know, we're going to go back and, and look at your initial setup, your initial start. All right. It's just important. If we're not starting right, we're probably not going to end right. All right. So we'll wait for this here to get back to you. So, all right. So you come and set right here. All right. So we're going to go mark your head, mark your center of your body, and see how, how, you, how you're doing through your leg lift. All right. So everything's pretty good. All right. You don't have a whole lot of movement back. All right, everything's everything's looking good. The one thing I want to I want to key on is watching your head. You're going to see it drop quite a bit before you go forward. All right, so we want to try to get to a point where you know basically flexing our knee um, and sort of bending down doesn't create any extra velocity. If we're kind of draw a line on your head, we'd want that to follow sort of a a, a straight line down the mound instead of that drop. You know and go. So you know, a lot of times you hear kind of like a drop and drive, you know, dropping down doesn't help us out. We want to try to stay a little bit taller and stay in our legs a little bit more. All right. Um, another thing too is, is especially from the stretch, you know, a lot of times early on we try to think about getting too quick. All right. Obviously runners are going to be on base. We can't be going too slow. Um, but when we work on getting too quick, what you're going to see with this front leg, if we're keen on on here, is all you're going to see is, is you're going to lift your knee straight up and you're not going to let your hips get closed and you're just leaking everything early, all right? So what we want to try to get is you can still be quick, you can still work on that slide step, but still try to get that knee over that back foot a little bit, all right? Because we, we need to try to get it somewhere that you can close the, these hips off and so the hips are going to stay closed and lead down the mound, all right? So back in this position, you know, it would be better to see this knee move back over here, foot there, all right, and now, you know, it might look something like that, and now your hips are closed and able to lead down the mound, all right. So that's just uh, sort of a, a, another thing to work on is just, just think knee getting kind of pulled diagonally back over that back foot before you get going, all right. Next thing I want to look at is your is your hands, all right. So you can see how... Um, your glove kind of stays up and your ball breaks down out of the glove. So as you get um, you get older and, and progress with baseball, if you start doing this, hitters are going to be able to key on your grips. All right, so they're going to be able to see that ball. You're basically kind of showing the hitter that baseball. All right, so an easy um, easy fix for this too is, is you see where that hand goes. All right, your hand goes down here. All right, so let's try to cut that distance off. Same thing I was kind of talking about of, of efficiency, repeatability, is we, if we can eliminate as much excess movement as we can and help ourselves out, it's going to make it a lot lot more easier, all right? So all you need to do is just drop those hands down here. <clears throat> so now as you get going, all right, that ball still going to be, um, that ball isn't going to be coming out of your glove. Uh, it, you know, it, it'll be popping out of your glove, but it's going to be down here. All right, and there, it's going to, instead of kind of coming down and showing, you know, it's going to immediately kind of come out and then start your arm path instead of popping out here. All right, and so then with that front glove is you're just going to have to work on getting it up to that same spot that you're at um, and, get, and getting going. All right, so that's just something to, to key on now. You know, hitters probably aren't going to pick up on it a whole lot at your level here, but just something to think about, all right? It's, it's going to help you get a little more consistent. Um, it's going to get be able to get you a little more repeatable. And so just cut down that distance, all right? So as you're driving down the mound, all right, everything's, you, you're doing pretty good at getting out, you know, using your legs a little bit. And so what we look at is foot strike. So once this front foot first hits the ground right here, all right, what, what are we looking like? Okay, and so it looks like, looks like this is about your, your foot strike here, all right? So good good thing is, you, is it looks like you're staying in your backside, all right? That's pretty good. Stride length is going to come with age and strength. You know, I'd like to see you get, stay closed a little bit longer, which is going to get that, that stride length down a little bit longer. 
Um, but again, it's, it's not too bad. But the biggest thing that, that's showing up here is what your front side's doing. All right, you can see that this glove and this elbow is gone out of the picture. And so what that's doing is that's popping your left shoulder open. It's causing strain on, on these joints. But what it's doing is it's losing power um, in your hip shoulder separation. So now your hips and shoulders aren't working um, in sync. They're basically kind of working at the same time. So when you're rotating, you know, your hips are going at, at the same time as your shoulders. But we want to try to get the hips going first um, and then the shoulders go coming through. All right. And that, that'll come with age and, and strength too. But work on it now. So what we'd want to see here is this front shoulder sort of uh, matched up with that back one and that glove out over your front foot. All right, and that will keep your shoulders closed. That will get your hips going first, and then that will let that, that right shoulder come through through that release point. All right, so through here, you know, we'd still be seeing your glove out over that front foot. All right, so through that release. So here's your, here you're releasing the ball. All right, you do a good job at, at getting um, over that front foot, but you're starting to see this, this back foot pop up off the ground. All right, so you're coming through that front side a little bit too early, and that's uh, another function, too, uh, of popping this shoulder open and getting that weight out a little bit early on that front side is that front foot's going to pop up off the ground um, just a touch early. All right, so we want to try to still get contact with the ground because we're driving all the way through that front side. Um, but you're doing a, a pretty good job at getting out front, which is good. I don't, don't see that a whole lot with, with kids your age. So um, that's good. So you're getting getting a good finish. you got a good feel for, for how your, your body needs to work. Now it's just a matter of, of um, just allowing yourself to get, to get your hips in a little bit better position initially. You know, don't worry so much about being so quick. Still get that, that knee back, get everything in position um, because the, the hips are, are what's going to get that velocity. It's going to keep everything um, healthy. You know, it takes less strain off that upper body. And then work on that, that left shoulder, all right, that left elbow. Let that glove get out over that front foot and try to keep it out there and then just rotate everything out towards that glove instead of pulling it back in and popping it open. All right, so uh, good luck this year. Thanks for making out to camp. Hope we had a great time, and we look forward to seeing you again with ABC.